What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my voice sound better using Audacity. So it's really simple as to how to do it, but before you ask, the microphone I do use is the Samsung Meteorite USB microphone. It's really cheap and really simple to use, and I think it has great audio quality, so make sure you go ahead and check that out in the description down below if you are looking for a microphone. But anyways, now that that's out of the way guys, let's just get started with the tutorial. So guys, first of all, you will need to go ahead and download Audacity. So free program i will leave a link to it in the description down below so go ahead download that open it up in windows and you can then start recording for your video but i do recommend before you do this to have at least three seconds of silence at the beginning of the clip this is just because it will help us with the noise removal once we get into the editing process so go ahead record for your video pause this video as well and then come back once you're done once you guys have finished recording your video, you can now start editing your audio using Audacity. So the first step in order to do this is to go ahead and highlight the first three seconds of your clip, just like I'm doing right now. Once you've done that, you then want to go up to Effect, scroll down to Noise Removal, and then just click Get Noise Profile. Once you've done that, it will get the noise profile of the full clip. So now what you want to do is double click on it, go to Effect, scroll down to Noise Removal again, and this time just hit OK. Once that's done, you then want to go back up to Effect, this time scroll all the way down to Normalize. On this, you then want to copy down these settings, it's mainly just minus one, and then hit OK once you're done. After this, you then want to go back up to Effect at the top, scroll down to Compressor, and then on Compressor you need to have minus 18 as the threshold, and then make sure you've got that and then hit OK. Once this is done, you then want to go back up to Effect, scroll down to Equalization, and make sure the Select Curve is on Base Boost. It should be already, and make sure you have these settings, and then once that's done, just make sure you hit OK. Once you've done that, you then want to go back up to Equalization again, and this time make sure the Select Curve is on Treble Boost, and then hit OK. Once you've done that, you then want to go back up to Effect, and go all the way down to Normalize. Once you're on Normalize, you then want to make sure it's on minus one like before, and then just hit OK. Once that's done, you then want to go back up to Effect, scroll all the way down to Hard Limiter, make sure this is on minus 3 and then hit OK. Once that's done, it you then want to go back up to Effect and the last thing you want to do is normalise it one last time and you will have a clip. Looks a little bit like this and then all you have to do is go ahead, go to File and Export the Audio. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's been quite short but I do get a lot of questions asked about how I edit my audio and what mic I use. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace.